हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर सिक्सटीन हेबलर डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द क्रेंक ए बी इज़ रोटेटिंग विद अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंगुलर विलासिटी ऑफ फोर रेडियन पर सेकेंड डिटर्मिन द एंगुलर विलासिटी ऑफ द कनेक्टिंग रॉड सी डी एट द इंस्टेंट वेन दिस थीटा इक्वल्स टू थर्टी डिग्री so this crank ab is rotating with a constant angular velocity of 4 radian per second in the clockwise direction we are required to determine the angular velocity of the connecting rod cd we have to find the angular velocity of this rod cd so this is the free body diagram this uh, represent that cd arm and this represent that crank ab so this crank ab is moving with uh constant angular velocity of 4 radian per second so let's say that after some time t uh, this point b will be somewhere here this this crank ab will rotate and the new position of this point b will be at b dash so it will cover some angle theta and uh, let's say that the angle uh, cd is making angle theta here and let's say that this crank ab is making angle alpha so let me represent those those angles here so this is angle alpha and here we have angle theta so when this crank ab rotates with an angular velocity of 4 radian per second this will be the new position and then uh this crank ab will cover some angular displacement mm, that will be d alpha or we can say that the change in angle alpha so that change in angle alpha will represent the angular velocity of this crank ab and similarly this will travel this cd uh, link will cover some angular displacement as well so it will have some angular displacement as well uh, angular velocity as well right so this when this crank ab is moving in this direction so then that cd link is moving in the clockwise direction as well so we can represent that this will be somewhat like this will be uh omega cd or we can say this is omega cd and this will be this is omega ab this is given this is 4 radian per second so as we can see that this point b has traveled a distance in the horizontal direction right this uh, this has traveled some distance in this direction like this is the initial position of point b and this is the final position of point b so some distance is traveled in the in the horizontal direction and some distance is traveled in the vertical direction so let's define a variable for the moment of this point b along x and y so let's say that the reference point for that position is let's say this point uh, c so let's say that from point c we define the position of that point b and in this direction the position will be towards the right the position will be considered as positive and let's say that the distance traveled by point b in the horizontal direction is defined by x so if point b travels towards the right x will be positive if point b travels towards the left then x will be negative and similarly the vertical motion and we need to uh, we will define the vertical motion of point b by a variable um, y and similarly in the downward direction the motion will be considered as positive y and in the upward direction the motion will be considered as negative so now we need to uh, develop a relationship between uh, this x and theta since uh, we know that omega cd will be d theta by dt which is required we are we are required to determine the angular velocity of the connecting rod cd and similarly that omega ab this is d phi by dt d phi by dt equals to 4 radian per second so now we need to have some relationship between these parameters in terms of theta so now if we consider this initial position this one And so this will be the initial distance of point b and that is x so we we can write this x let me draw a triangle here so this is our point b this is point a this is that angle alpha this is theta and this length is given this this ac length is given which is 600 mm 
this is 600 mm and in meters it will be 600 divided by 100 so that will be uh, 600 divided by 1000 so that will be 0.6 meters similarly the length of link uh, crank ab is 300 mm so this will be 0 0.3 meters and this will be this distance will be that initial position x of that point b now for this triangle we can write that tan theta tan theta will be perpendicular so this is the perpendicular and this is the base so let's say this is x and let's say this intersection point is point p so the perpendicular divided by cp length and now we can write that cp that cp length will be equal to this point 6 minus this length so 0 0.6 minus this and this will be this length is the cost component of this so we can write that cp is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3 cos of that angle phi so we can say that um, x is equal to cp times tan theta and x is equal to uh, cp is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3 cos of phi into tan theta so this is how we can relate this x in terms of that angle phi and angle theta now for this lower triangle we can say that for triangle b a p we can say that sine of phi is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so x is equal to 0 0.3 sine of phi so now we can equate both of these equations since this is equal to x and this is equal to x so we can say that a 0 0.3 sine of phi is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.3 cos of phi into tan theta so now if we take derivative of both side of equation we will have um, with respect to t we will have d phi by dt and we will have d theta by dt since we have angle phi here and we have that angle theta here so if we take the derivative of both side of equation with respect to t so we will have 0 0.3 and the derivative of sine phi with respect to t will be cos of phi and then d phi by dt since with respect to time that angle phi is changing so this will be equal to and here we will have 0 0.6 times tan theta so we will have uh, 0 0.6 and the derivative of tan theta with respect to t is secant square theta so that will be secant square theta and then d theta by dt and similarly the second term will be minus 0 0.3 let me write it is minus d by dt into 0 0.3 cos of phi tan theta so this is uh, 0 0.3 cos of phi d phi by dt equals to 0 0.6 secant square theta d theta by dt and now here we have to apply the product rule right so this will be minus 0 0.3 and the derivative of uh, let me write it like the derivative of cos will be minus sine of phi d phi by dt tan theta and then plus um, we will write uh, cos of phi and the derivative of tan theta is secant square theta d theta by dt so this is we can write this is 0 0.3 cos of phi d phi by dt equals to 0 0.6 secant square theta d theta by dt then we need to multiply this inside so we will have minus into minus plus 0 0.3 sine of phi tan theta d phi by dt and then minus 0 0.3 cos of phi secant square theta d theta by dt now com combining these terms d phi 
d5 the d5 by dt and d5 by dt terms on one side and d theta by dt and d theta by dt on the other side so we, we are required to uh, find d theta by dt so i need to bring this term to this side of equation so we will have 0 0.3 cos of phi d5 by dt minus 0 0.3 sine of phi uh, tan theta d5 by dt and similarly on this side we will have 0 0.6 secant square theta d theta by dt minus 0 0.3 cos of phi secant square theta d theta by dt so now from from these two terms we can take this uh, d phi by dt common so we we can write it like this we will erase this and we will write it like this so the equation will look like this and here on this side we can take this d theta by dt common so we will write it like this we will remove this so this will be And now we know that d phi by dt is the rate of change of this angle phi will be the angular velocity of this link ab omega ab and similarly this d theta by dt will be the uh, omega of this link cd so d theta by dt is uh, we can further write it is uh, this is omega ab and this is omega cd omega cd so now since we want to find omega cd so we need to divide both sides of equation by this term so we will have omega cd equals to 0 0.3 cos of phi minus 0 0.3 sine of phi tan theta omega ab divided by 0 0.6 secant square theta minus 0 0.3 cos of phi secant square theta now omega ab is given omega ab is uh, this 4 radian per second and it is in the clockwise direction so it will be negative and similarly theta is given this theta is 30 so now if this theta is 30 and here this angle is 90 this angle is 90 so if this is 30 so then this angle will be uh, 60 so angle phi is 60 if uh, that angle theta is 30 so if theta is equal to 30 and here this angle is 90 so 180 minus 90 we can say that uh, angle phi will be 180 minus 90 minus 30 so this will give us 60 degrees so angle phi is 60 degree and omega ab is uh, minus 4 radian per second minus is uh, for clockwise rotation so now we will put everything in this equation this is our main equation so omega cd is equal to zero point three cos of phi sixty degree minus zero point three uh, sine of phi is 60 10 30 into minus 4 divided by 0 0.6 secant square theta secant square 30 minus 0 0.3 cos of 60 and secant square theta so this is 30 let's find the numerator first so that will be 0 0.3 cos of 60 minus 0 0.3 0 0.3 sine of 60 uh, 10 30 so the numerator becomes 0 so this means that omega cd is equals to zero there is no need to find uh, in the denominator since the numerator is equal to zero so everything will become zero so zero omega cd is zero radian per second when that theta is 
30 degrees so when th when this theta is equal to 30 degree we can say that this link a b is stationary at that particular instant the uh, the angular velocity of this link cd is zero right so omega cd is zero and this uh, crank ab is moving with 4 radian per second so if this angle is 30 degree and if this crank is moving with 4 radian per second in the clockwise direction at that particular instant the angular velocity of this link cd is zero so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics